One of the turning points in the development of science related to Charles Darwin and his study of finches. What did he find out and why might it have been important? Well, Charles Darwin noticed some difference between the species of finches on the Galapagos Islands during his second voyage on the Beagle, especially in regard to the size and shape of the beaks. These birds are closely related to the tanagers, which are native to the American continent. They look both different to these birds and somewhat different to each other. Darwin didn't immediately realise the importance of the finches, but when he returned from the voyage, he contacted John Gould, who was an expert ornithologist, about the differences between the finches. John Gould was able to identify the specimens of the birds that Darwin had brought back, though they were related to the mainland tanagers were a different species. However, the birds themselves weren't just new varieties of a single new species, but consisted of 12 entirely different species. And this number later increased with more specimens being examined. Darwin hadn't noticed which particular island each of the finch specimens had come from. However, Fitzroy, the captain, and other members of the crew of the Beagle had taken greater care from their information, he was able to gather that each of the new species were unique to a particular island. And the Galapagos Islands themselves just lie about 500 miles due west of Ecuador and on the equator. It means that whilst migratory birds and seabirds could travel to the islands, they were virtually isolated from all other birds on the mainland. Additionally, the islands themselves consist of an archipelago with 18 larger islands and a number of smaller islands generally have at least 10 miles of sea between them. So while storms and other events might occasionally mean that land birds would move from one island to another, each island was for the most part a separate ecosystem. And Darwin thought it was impossible that finches could be so similar in so many ways to those on the mainland, this would not actually originated there. And as far as he was concerned, the species couldn't have been created independent of those on the mainland. Darwin postulated that early on in the islands ecological history. The islands didn't actually have many varieties of land birds, so when the finches arrived they adapted to the different conditions on each of the islands that had normally been taken by other varieties of birds. In doing so, the shape and size of their beaks and other features adapted to fit different methods for gathering food which best suited each particular island. These differences between the finches were then used as part of the on the origin of species, showing how species change over time and were not fixed at some arbitrary moment of creation.